Good morning, YouTube. It is Saturday, December 11th, and this is my Walmart haul. First thing off the top is a substitution. This is double cheddar cheese. I had originally asked for old cheddar. Really makes no difference to me. And this was $3.97. And I could swear I had gotten two bags of shredded cheese because there were two for something, but there's only one on the receipt here. And another substitution. I asked for a color called Lively, and I ended up with a color called Pretty Pastels. It's not the same material or color that I asked for, but I'll put it aside and make something out of it. Maybe a scarf, maybe a baby blanket, maybe more dishcloths, who knows. That was $10.97. And then I got another one. This color is called Jelly Bean. I've showed you the blanket I'm making, so this is to add to it. Also, $10.97. And next up we have pears. Got two Bosque pears. Not sure if I can get that to focus on the sticker. B-O-S-C. If I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, I apologize. Uh, let's see. Asked for Bartlett pears. They didn't have any. Got the Bosque pears. And these were... There is no way these were five dollars a piece, and if they are, I will never buy them again. It says four ninety-seven each. Nine dollars and ninety-four cents for two pairs, folks. Wish I had noticed that. I would have said no. And then Ambrosia apples. Again, if I'm saying that incorrectly, I apologize. These are pretty big ones, and they were a dollar eighty for the two of them. Which was three sixty-eight a kilogram. And I got some sausage rolls, some Bellagio Toscana sausage rolls. Those are for some hot dogs that I have in the freezer. They were three fifty-seven for six. They're very large buns for hot dogs. That's why I get them. Hey, this is new to me. The Great Value brand coffee creamer. I could not find my butter pecan on there anywhere, so I figured I'll give this a try for 99 cents. And that is a 460 milliliter. I'm okay with that price for that size. And I got another cat litter box. Same as the last one I got, it's a sifting one. There's nothing wrong with the first one I got, but I like it. It works great for cleaning. Very easy to get the clumps out, and still on clearance for twelve dollars. So, doesn't hurt to have an extra, an extra litter bin for sure. Then we got chips. Got some fully baked nachos. Some white cheddar snowflakes, and Lay's salt and vinegar. Those, as usual, are three for eight dollars. And I ran out of bacon. And bacon's getting a little expensive, so I'm just buying smaller packs instead of getting it at Costco for an arm and a leg. I have one lazy maple, 375 grams. And one original, 375 grams. Those are... $7.47 each, and they were on sale. If you bought two, you got two for $12. And I have some Dempster's products. I got a loaf of bread and some tortillas. I think those were, if you bought two Dempster's products, it was $6 for two. So I got one honey oatmeal loaf of bread. And I thought these were bigger, but will still work for whatever I want. Ten original tortillas. For Breeze, again nowhere near out. 
but I'm gonna keep getting a couple of them here and there when they're on sale or it's a scent that I really like like this one Bora Bora waters and those were on sale I got the two of them for $5.94 so I think the regular price is $3.97 and they were on sale for $2.97 I know I said last time I got underwear I wasn't showing you my underwear, but these are not the cute ones. I'm sick of the cute ones. They keep riding up my butt. They're uncomfortable. They don't stay in place. So I went and got some granny panties. These were six pairs for $10.97. Right. The cheese was on sale. Two for $11. Regular price $7.97 each. So I got one marble. This one is light, so 36% less fat than regular marble. I don't care. Full fat, low fat, regular fat, I don't care. I'll eat it. And a medium white cheddar. I like white cheddar flavored stuff, so I don't know why I haven't been buying white cheddar cheese. Those are both 400 grams, so just under a pound each. Coffee. Here's something I don't usually get. This is decaf. That's the French side. There we go. And a 12 pack of premium roast, medium dark roast decaf because I've been craving coffee in the afternoons and I also like to sleep at night. So I thought Decaf. It's supposed to, I mean it's coffee. It still tastes like coffee, it's just not caffeinated. And these were $9.97. Some more of the Imes Perfect Portions Healthy Kitten. Five of them for five dollars again. Or $1.28 if you buy less than five. No, I didn't need them, but you know what? I'm getting a pretty good stock up, and at this, pretty soon here we'll be able to go a couple of months without buying anything for the cat. And there was a great sale on specifically turkey stovetop stove top stuffing. The chicken one and whatever the other one is, I don't remember, were not on sale. But these were 74 cents a box, so I got five. Can I make my own stuffing? Yes. Is it good? You betcha. But you know what? This takes five minutes. And I don't feel like making stuffing every time I feel like having stuffing. Look at this. Someone must have heard me talking about her. Say hello, camera. Show your face. Here we go. Who's pretty kitty? You're a pretty kitty. I know my viewers like that. Okay, next item is a prepper pantry item. I already have a couple packs of toilet paper ahead, but when it's on sale, why not get another one? It's something you never ever want to run out of. This is normally $16.97 for 24 double rolls. I Paid $10.97 on sale this week. Lighters. This is the cheapest way to get good Bic lighters. You buy them in a five pack when they're on sale. Each of these lighters, if you go into a gas station or a convenience store, they're going to run you probably two, oh, probably about $2.50 to $3.50 for each lighter. Uh, this package regular price is $5.48 and on sale it was $4.93. So if you count if you're going into a convenience store that likes to upcharge and you're paying $3 a lighter, that'd be $15. Got Night of Olay Firming Night Cream. I enjoy this one. It's very good for moisturizing and it smells awesome. Honestly, it reminds me of my grandmother and not in a negative way, in a very good way. 
And that was regular price $9.97, on sale $8.97. Probably get another one next week if they're still on sale and then I'll be stocked up for like well over a year probably. Another item I never like to be out of is the heavy duty neoprene coated latex gloves. I seem to have a sensitivity to latex but this is because it's coated I don't actually touch it so it doesn't seem to bother my skin at all. I like these for dishes and cleaning and they were $3.27 for each pair. I got two. And these were, I'm guessing they're seasonal items. They were new in store. We've got white fudge covered Oreos and fudge covered Ritz crackers. Those were $2.47 each. Here again with the I like white cheddar. I don't know why I haven't buy, been buying white cheddar. But this is the popcorn seasoning from Colonel's. It's a, how big is this? 110 grams. And it was $2.97. They also had an all dress, but I'll start with one. And the very last thing I got is some salted butter. I got the salted because it was on sale and the unsalted was not. And again, it makes no difference to me if butter is salted or unsalted. I will add or not add salt accordingly. And these were regular 328. No, would have been 994 for two. So like 499. And they were on sale for $3.28. I'm probably getting the math wrong, but that's alright. I'll put the right price on the screen. Okay, so that is it for my Walmart order. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like shop shopping hauls and vlogmas, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have friends that would enjoy this, please share. Thank you, and have a good weekend.